Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Mars Horizon. In this episode, I have skipped ahead a little bit. I have done a couple of required preparations in order to get some missions going. So we're going to be quick firing a few missions in a row. First off, we're going to Venus. Using a synthetic aperture radar, an orbital probe will be able to scan through the thick clouds encompassing Venus to construct a topographical map of the surface. It's a challenging mission, but it has the potential to yield 5,804 science. So it is well worth it if I can do this thing quickly. And moreover, if I can make sure that it has bonuses. So we're going to set this thing up. <clears throat> Launch is not that terribly spectacular, or at least I hope not. Nope, just a nominal launch. We'll probably have three to four stages on this one. Phase one. Make sure you enter a Venus transfer orbit. Keep an eye on thrust, keep an eye on drift, and ideally generate enough to get the bonus resources. I have five turns of three commands. I burn off one bit of thrust at the end of each turn. So make sure you only generate thrust in the last bit. I need to get 10 units of comms, 15 units of nav. And at the same time, make sure that by the end of the road, or, well, not so much a road in space, but by the end of the round, I don't have an excess of energy here, or an excess of drift. Um, let's see. What is a great way to generate nav and comms this generates a lot in order to get that i would first need to do this and then i can do that and then i can do this again which will cause me a bit of drift but i can counteract that later in fact i would need more drift just to make sure that i can get this one very nice very nice indeed All right, so that's six and four out of 10 and 15. Okay. I would want to get drift uh, like this, manual thrust adjustment, putting me back at three, but also putting me at eight, giving me one unit of data. One unit of data is not that spectacular. I'm going to do this again, and then use uh, this one again. Or hold on. That puts me at or, well, very, very close to 15. Yeah, let's do that. Fortunately, not a lot of malfunctions like we had in the early days. Okay, that's almost the bonus objective complete. Three turns remain. Drift perfectly neutral. So, now to generate a lot of comms. No, uh, yeah, comms. To do that, ideally get data. Um, I would also need data to get this. So I'm gonna have to start looking into how to get a bit more of it. See, this is three for six. It's quite good. Can do that twice. Puts me at the base requirements and uh, actually beyond what I need. I also have to start looking at gathering more data. Because I need that to make sure I have enough thrust. So let's do that. 10 and 8. And generate one power. Accepted. Very good. Generating a lot of data. So I can now easily get the thrust that I need. But I want to do that in the last turn. I would get more nav data from it, but I would be burning off comms data. I can also use data to get one of these. And then I need to counteract that again. So that one. Um... This is going to put me way beyond what I actually need. This is also going to put me way beyond. Let's see. If I do this... Yeah, I would need to generate one more unit of comms. 
because I'll be burning off a bit of comms. So that. And then pretty much do that one three times in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Oh shit, I miscalculated. I used too much data. Oh no. No, 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 that's not great. I also miscalculated here on the other part of the bonus objective. Because I'm not going to get to that 15 anymore. Uh, see, that's decent. But now I have a drift issue. Right, this one has to go through. That's a given. And then I need to transmute something into data. Like that. But that's the massive drift issue again. So I'm going to be forced to do this. To make sure my drift isn't too bad. But then I don't have another slot to get this. To get the extra thrust. So I'll not be getting the bonus objective. Unfortunately. Oh. What well, gets worse. Uh, yeah, resist that. Oh well. Oh well. 281 for four months. I have seen better. Alright, the other two missions that I'm currently working on is a crude moon landing and a Mars lander. This one has already been built and it's ready to go. I just need to set up a training. And I'm considering also going for science on this one because you wouldn't believe how far the Soviet Union is getting ahead. It is nuts. Here, let me show you. We're going to Mars. Um, the Mars lander. The Soviets and China... Oh, sorry, China is far ahead. China was the first, Soviets were the second. I am getting there with the Mars lander. But... If you start looking into what these guys have been doing on Earth... Space Station, they were third and fourth. Modular Space Station, done. Um, on the moon, they were one of the first, China. Now, if you go farther right, you're also going to come up to Jupiter. Did somebody go to Jupiter? Well, yes, China's on the way. The Jupiter Orbiter, thank God they haven't finished that, because that's a lot of science. Um, and even farther right, Saturn. Guess who it is? The Chinese. They have managed to complete this on 1980. I'm in 1984, and I haven't even researched the mission. Saturn Orbiter, then. That one is still up for grabs. Thank God. But I need to get my ass into gear, and I need to do it quickly. So, next event. We're going to launch a crewed moon lander. Now, we have a couple of really nice astro uh, asteroids. Uh, we have a couple of really nice astronauts on this one, which guarantees a lot of science. Weather looks favorable. There we go. Let's go to the moon. Definitely another multiphasic operation. Because this is definitely not going to go down in one go. Too complex. Crew moon landing. Of course, it was historically done in 1969. I'm doing it in 1984. So I am quite a bit behind. Well, tech-wise, if you will. Right. Generate 10, 10, and 10. Decaying thrust. So thrust saves for the last turn. To generate thrust, I would need two comms. And I would need three items. Or three commands in that turn just to complete this one with honors so i better stock up on well 16 units of comms that is a lot of comms fortunately it is doable because i can use an astronaut and i can use some more astronauts and i can use the data that's the start Thank you very kindly. That's really nice. Okay, so now we're at 12. That's a good start. I also need to be generating quite a lot of this. 
One, two, and I'm going to do this one again, just to ensure that I have enough. I still have plenty of power. There we go, 20. Two turns remain. I, my, I, blah, 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 English, my thrust decays by one. I can simply do this three turns, or three times, and then finish off with the nav on the last turn. And seeing as I generate four per turn, I can still have a bit of decaying thrust. That's fine. Now I just need to get one more unit of uh, navigational. And I can just do that with a bit of power, uh, or even like that. So one, two, three. That should be more than what I need. There we go. Job done. Achieve lunar orbit. Now since the moon is relatively close, we can immediately proceed to the next phase. Collect 8, 3 and 8. Yes. But in effect, collect 15, 5 and 15. Over 4 turns with 12 commands. Once again, it's time to use the crew. I can use crew to generate this. That opens up a lot more options. I can then use, uh, let's say, more crew to generate that and another crew member to generate this. That's already a couple of steps in the right direction. I will have some excess resources and I can use that to generate the rest. Not if I have malfunctions, however. Twice even. Come on, we've thrown stuff down, or well, we're about to throw stuff down on Mars. We really shouldn't be facing silly things like this. Alright, I need to generate one more data, and then I can use one unit of data to generate all of the stuff that I need for that, and get close to the bonus. And then ideally, I would use a couple of crew members to get me up to 11. Don't fail me now. I still need to get these phases complete. Resist. Unfortunately, that's the last bit of power that I used. Data's good. This is not so much, but I can fix that. Generate a bit of power. And then with the power, generate that. I might even get three commands extra. So just an excess of what I need. There we go. Perform lunar descent. Now we're going to be landing. Keep an eye on the drift. There we go. Still feels like we're really high up for what we're doing. Okay, we need 15, 10, and 10. And by the end of the road, I cannot be drifting. Makes sense. So, drift, drift... Uh, that's the crew. I hate to say used up, but <laughs> in essence, that is what it is. And um, I can use power to generate a bit of data. Let's get started on that. Ah! Manual data collection didn't go that well. Resist. That one succeeded, but barely. That one succeeded. Okay. Now, let's do that once again, and then use this, and um, I need to start burning off some drift here. Ah, conduct experiments. Not a great thing when the, conduct when the experiment fails. There we go. Okay, now I can use data, because I have a lot of it, and that's beautiful, because I only need 10. So I can do this one twice, putting me very close to what I need. And then with a bit of crew and some power, I can get exactly what I need. If nothing malfunctions. There we go. That should, there we go. Bonus reward completed. Done. To the moon. There goes the lander.
Now I suppose we're not going to be there to stay. We'll also have to get back up. I imagine. Welcome to the moon. Yeah, we'll just plunk that flag down next to all the other flags. Because we're definitely not the first. <laughs> Dock with command module. Okay. Keep an eye on the drifts. And we have to get 10 and 18. Again, crew is important. Crew can get you intermittent resources in the form of comms. Comms can be transmuted into data and nav. So I would do one, two, three. And I can do that a few times. Nice, look at that. 98% even. Ah, and that one malfunctions. Ah, well, we have some power. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, one, two, three. This is going to be pretty easy, isn't it? Shouldn't have jinxed it. I now need to get a bunch of nav. Drift is perfectly fine. To get nav, I really don't have to do that much, do I? I really don't have to do that much. I have to do one of these and one orbital plane adjustment and I'm there. Unless I'm overlooking something. But I don't think I am. So, local, uh, sorry, location extrapolation and this one. And then uh, just generate a bit of power as a reserve. There we go. That's that phase complete. Back to the other module. I'm still fascinated with people being able to think all of this up. Just more or less when we had computers. They're really rudimentary computers at that. But people were able to come up with this stuff. All right, time to go home. Let's make sure the crew doesn't burn up after this uh, maximum experiment. So, let's get rid of some heat. We're currently at four. We're going to be generating one through five, depending on what RNG has in store. I can burn off heat here, here, and here. In order to do it here, I would first need to generate comms, then burn that off. Uh, burn that off again. Unfortunately, I don't have enough... <laughs> I don't have enough to burn. That makes sense. So we're gonna do this. Just stock up on a bunch of comms and a bit of data. Because the data can then be transmuted into something else. Okay, this is actually not bad. Because I can use data and heat to transmute into that. Transmute into more data. And uh, then I don't have that trick anymore. But I still have a few rounds. So let's make Tom my ally. The data can then be used to generate that. Quite good. Additional unit of data. Alright, we're at 9 and 9. 9 of 12 and 9 of 20. We really need to get rid of some of that heat. But preferably at the exchange rate where I actually gain a bit of comms with it. So one, two, three. It's actually a bit too much almost. Because this is good enough. I just need to get a few more units. There we go. Holy shit, that one went to 99. And that one didn't go through. Power. 
And we're home. Lunar landing completed. We achieved the milestone, but we were fifth. Nevertheless, quite a bit of science and a nice amount of support, which is going to put me to tier uh, 11. These guys are recouping for a few missions. Right, so we're now at tier 11 for support. Science is going to go up quite fast, which will allow us to launch the modular space station. And as for active missions, we still have the Mars lander coming up. Two months until we launch. That might still make me third. And also generate a bunch of science. And of course we have this one, which has two months until the next phase. I didn't really unlock any additional missions. So I'm going to have to find another mission that generates a bunch of science. No support penalty for failing a mission. It's not great. Reputation increased with Japan. Is that beneficial? Experimental fuel. More science. Less launch reliability. Hmm. They will contribute 53% towards all mission costs. Okay. But 1370 science is not that great. Let's go for the orbital way station. Lots of support. A good amount of science, and I get the advanced shock absorption, which increases payload reliability. Plan that. Good old Skylab. Three astronauts. I'm gonna just gonna pay our way to getting that, and I still have eight and a half million in the bank. Modular space station one research is complete. Okay, so I now have the research, but I don't have the payload, because that's the Zarya payload. Uh, that's going to take me six months at this rate. And I'm not sure if I can do that. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's get that payload. Budget review. Here we go. Thank you very much. We're now at 495 per month. Next mission phase ready for the topographic radar mapping. Uh, but naturally, we're first going to do the Mars lander. Sometimes this system really makes no sense. Right. Weather's good. Up we go. Good launch. Let's get to Mars. Although we're pretty much the last to get there, I suppose. Enter Mars transfer orbit. Uh, four turns, four commands, minus one thrust. Gotcha. No astronauts that I can use for this. I can generate data. Like that. Uh, and generate some more data, will you? One. Two. Boom. Bonus. Four. Good, that's a lot of data. And I will need that data and that comms to very quickly get up to what I need. So let's use the rest of the data sparingly, because I can also use that to build more thrust. And I will have to start doing that. Because if I don't do it, then I won't have enough time. I will be decaying anyway. So I might as well accept it. One, two... Three. Oh, cancel that. Resist. Right. Now to generate more data and then more thrusts. Because I'm at the level of nav that I like. So this one, that one, and power. Ah. Resist that. I don't want that to cost too much. Okay, four. I just need to get one, two, three, and one power to counteract any malfunctions. Good. 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 With bonus. There we go. That's phase one complete. 99 science only. Jesus, is that it? Oh well. Be happy with what you guess, I suppose. Or get. Continue the mission. We're going to continue on to Venus.
There is science to be had, and lots of it. I gotta keep an eye on heat as we're achieving Venus orbit. Now this one I really want to get. The bonus reward. Five turns, three commands per. I generate quite a bit of warmth as I'm doing the missions. So first, make sure I get data. I get data by burning off a bit of that. And then with some data, I can generate the other resources and get rid of the heat entirely. Okay. I don't have any intermittent resources. So I suppose I can just start spending fairly liberally. We're generating plus three heat every turn, so we're perfectly within our limits there. Plus three. Yeah, we're fine. Um, generate more data. And more data still, because we have to get up to 13 somehow. One, two, three, plus three, three turns remaining still, generate one power, burn off one of those, um, and spend a bit of data to get the others up to their minimum requirements, and also get my heat down. There we go, that's the minimum requirement. We're still not at bonus. I need to get two more comms, two more data, and four, sorry, eight more nav. Nav is pretty easy. Burn it off. Uh, oh crap, I'm out of power. I think I can still do it in the last turn. But the problem is that the heat keeps building up. Yeah, see, now I really need to keep an eye on the heat. I need to get rid of it. And I don't have any power. That's a problem. I need to generate... Uh, less of this. <laughs> That's for sure. And then a bit of data. So power and data. Check, check, check. Nothing can fail. Not a thing. Go. Go. Gotcha. So that was a couple of successful missions in a row. That is 700 science for 10 months. So that's a total of 7,020 science. That's going to allow me to research Zarya very quickly. And also, it will signal the end of the episode. I wanted to do one of these episodes, and I'll do them a bit more in this format, where I just skip through a few missions and then uh, show you the highlights. So, thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for another episode.